Hey girl! Hey everybody! And welcome to September Favorites A Teeny Bit Late. And here's a kitty! Say hi girl! She's curious. She says, who are those pretty people? <gasps> um, she's actually been one of my September Favorites. They usually chill on the back on that couch during the summer when it was really hot. But now it's cold so they like to sleep on my warm bed. Or um, They actually have, we bought them a cat heater blanket. And I don't like to keep it on because I'm afraid of the radiation. Um, but we actually put, it's like a cat heater, and it's like a little cat bed that heats up. So cute. So we use that for my baby. Oh, my baby, she's purring, she's so cute. Kiss him, kiss him, kitty. So she gives you guys kisses. Oh, come back. Um, so she's actually been a September favorite, and that was completely off topic, because she's always one of my favorites. You get shown your baby. I'm going to kind of like pet her and try to keep her here throughout this video. Um, so I apologize that this September favorites video is late. It is like the 5th or the 8th or the 10th of the October. No. Baby girl, what's the date? I think it's like the 9th or the 10th. I've actually kind of lost track because we actually had to do a little family thing. Um, we left town for a couple days. Hi, girl. Bye, girl. Um, so I'm kind of off here. But I guess I will get started. Um, first thing you guys know that I was not always a big jewelry wearer. And I don't always wear them in videos because I like shake my head and then it is really, really painful. Um, but out and about or when I'm like doing things or sitting down um, or just like video chatting with my family and stuff like that, I have been using these big earrings all month long. And you guys know I kind of went on a big earring kick. Um, I actually purchased a lot of big earrings this month just because I didn't have a lot. So I have actually been wearing those a bit more off camera so I'm not like shaking my head and talking Tuesday or something. Um, but this is what I've been wearing and these are just like some peacock ones. So one of my favorites for this month have been these big earrings. Um, additionally, they hurt my ears so bad. So if you guys can see, I actually put them in my second, my like double. I put them in my double hole instead of my, what would that be, single? Does that make sense? I put them in my double, not my single. Anyways, because um, I feel like from far away, people can't really tell, and then it's also a lot less painful. Um, so I recommend you guys do that too, but these are some of the heaviest, which is why I thought I would show them in a video, um, just because I've never worn them like at all. But um, bigger earrings, heavy or not, have been definitely a favorite for this season. Um, also, September favorites, you guys know that I absolutely love, love, love these products. I am still obsessed with my Elite MD um, sunscreen, and this one has zinc oxide, so it is perfect. And this one, did this appear in my last month's favorites too? I don't even remember. But I love this. I've actually used it in two or three tutorials in September. So yeah, that is a love. And I know that I didn't post a lot of videos in September, and I'm really sorry about that. It's because I was doing a whole bunch of different stuff, including Chicago. And I still have to update you guys with that video. I am so sorry. It is because it's not just one video. It's like eight videos in one. So I'm trying to get that up to you guys. And it'll be on the personal channel too. And I have a Chicago haul or Chicago vlog in. So I'll be showing you both of those. But Chicago has been one of my favorites. Um, just because it was really fun. And I got to go with my baby. My willow below. My love bug. Um, but this is a really fun Chicago cup that I got there that you guys will see in the Chicago favorites or Chicago Holland or Chicago vlogging video. Um, if you guys live in Chicago, shout out to you. And it was a lot of fun. So Chicago has definitely been one of my favorite things in the month of September. Um, it was kind of windy, kind of raining, but you guys will see all that in the vlog video once, vlog personal video, once I put it up. Something else that I've been obsessed with is jewelry. Um, and you guys know that I've been wearing more rings. You guys know I hardly ever wear necklaces. I am not a necklace person, but I have been breaking out of the box wearing necklaces. And um, I have been wearing a little bit of gold in September. I think that I'm gonna be doing more gold in December because that's when gold is really out. But you guys know that the Green Eyed Lady sent me some really pretty stuff that I am giving all away to you guys on Winning Wednesdays. Um, but what happened is that I looked, I went back to the website and I looked, I was like, oh my gosh. That stuff is so cute. I have to have it. So I went back and I got this. And this is, oopsies, it's backwards. See, this? I try to look at you guys, but I can't even see what I'm doing unless I look up and then you guys are like, stop looking up. So sorry about that. I'm really sorry about that because a lot of you guys have been commenting and been like, it's so annoying, so I apologize. Um, I'll just show you everything backwards. Uh, but this is a cutie pity little octopus. And I got some other stuff too that's in a vlog video. But... This is a cutie pooty little octopus. It's a backwards again. I'm so sorry. Cutie pooty little octopus. 
and I got him from the greeneyedlady.com. I also got a dress and some other stuff, um, but I give you guys free stuff from them every Winning Wednesday um, until I run out, and then I'm just going to have to buy more stuff for you guys from somewhere else or get more stuff from somewhere else and give it to you. Um, but you guys know whenever I get something for free, I give it to you. So this is something that I actually went back and got, and I was like, so cute. So I have been loving necklaces, and I've been really loving the Green Eyed Lady just because... Um, I would not have been able to do Winning Wednesday without them. And I've been doing Winning Wednesday every single Wednesday of September. Um, and I'm so excited about that because I love to give to other people. And I, that would not be possible without them. So thank you. Um, additionally, you guys know that my acne has been slowly, slowly getting better. And I've been doing what I can. I also, I don't like to wear makeup every day. I wear makeup maybe, I don't know as less often as I can and when I do videos every day I have to wear makeup every day so it's like ah. but um something I've been loving is this Chanel tinted moisturizer and this is actually in a darker color it's called sand but I like to use this kind of below here and then sometimes on my temples kind of like as an additional contour and the reason that I love this is because this is a tinted moisturizer and it's great for my acneic skin because it moisturizes. You guys know moisture is essential. It has SPF in it and it's not super full coverage. So I can still go out and about, feel like I have makeup on, but I'm not like a cake monster. Um, additionally, I've been loving loose powder. Not just powder. I've been doing a lot of compact powder, but I love loose powder. This is actually my favorite Sephora Mineral. I hate Bare Essentials um, or Bare Minerals. This is the Sephora loose powder that I actually really like. And if you guys need a drugstore dupe, I find that this one actually works. Oh, you can see a reflection. This one from Maybelline. You see it's upside down. Maybelline New York actually works really well. Um, so these are two that I've been kind of obsessing over. And as you guys can see, they're basically just loose powder. And you apply a brush. Uh, you apply a brush to it and you get it all up on there and you just push it on your face and it works really well with um, you know traditional foundation stuff like that. Is that screwed on? I am color light 01 or 3 in Sephora. So this is like a drugstore dupe. Color blocking has been really in over summer, um, but for September, and you guys don't often see this because I don't usually show you my toes and um, I have been doing it on my fingers a lot, but I did well, I only did two colors during December, but September, but these are the only two colors that I did, so I'm going to share them with you. So even though they're not, like, all out, they're on my toes, so um, that counts, right? And then they were on my fingers for just, like, a day or two. But this one is kind of a dark purple, and I like it because it's, like, black, but at the same time it's purple. So it's got, like, that shimmery, and this one is, these are both from OPI because I only do OPI. Uh, but this one is Eiffel for this color, kind of like the Eiffel Tower. And this one is Color So Hot It Burns, like B-E-R-N-S, like the place. Um, but this is a bright red, and this is a dark blackish purple. And I really, really, really like both of these just because they're bright, they're perfect for the season, and they're really fun colors to do. So like I said, I've been doing it on my toes. I did each one of these on my nails once, and it was only for a couple days because then I had to change it for an event. Um... But yeah, those are the two I've been loving this month. I'll try to do some more nail tutorials next month um, during the month of October, stuff like that. Especially for Halloween. I'm so excited. Um, okay, next. So I did a spend versus splurge versus save video. And um, I forgot to talk about blushes, which was awful. But I did talk about primers. And I told you guys I don't have a good drugstore primer. I've never found a good drugstore primer. I still haven't found one for the face. But I finally found one for the eyes. And this is one is NYX. And I still prefer my high-end um, eye primers. Like, definitely straight up. There is no comparison. But if you guys want to see that video, I'll link it. But I did end up trying this. And this is the NYX and or NYX. And it's like an eyeshadow base. And it's pure white. And it's actually not terrible. So it is drugstore. It's not my favorite. But I've been kind of obsessing over it just because it is cheaper. Because I can use it. It is white. So it really holds color well. Um, and I just feel like it's, it's okay. So I've been loving that. And I know I don't usually use it in tutorials. I usually use more high-end stuff. And the reason why in my September videos, and the reason why is because I feel like I like this better. So even though I have been using this, I don't necessarily want to promote it just because it's not the best. But if you guys are on a budget, go see the Save vs. Splurge and also maybe check this out, maybe pick it up. These little makeup applicator spongies. And the reason why is because I usually use my fingers or a brush um, to do my foundation, and those can collect a lot of bacteria. These are disposable, so I used to use these on other people, but now I just use them on myself. And I haven't been using these every day. Um, definitely not in tutorials, because I feel like it takes a lot longer for me to do it with this, but for everyday use, because I can't spread, I don't spread as much bacteria, I'll use this, but during tutorials I'm like, hurry up, because you know I don't want to make like a 50 minute video, which I've done before. Um, 
but I have been using these on my own time just to kind of combat bacteria and I think that's been helping a little bit. So yay dollar store makeup sponges. Um, I've actually been kind of taking care of my hair a little bit more. You guys know that I'm on a quest for smooth hair, trying to try different treatments, different stuff to kind of get my hair working. And this is like late September, not really early September, so late September, early October. Uh, but this is from GK. It's um, a really, really, really nice serum with Juvixen. It's basically a curling defining cream, and I got mine from GK.com, but um, there are other hair products out there too. I really like BioSilk and Chi, which I did model for. Chi isn't actually that great when it comes to serums, but BioSilk has some amazing ones. There's also Infusium 23, which I love as a detangler, um, but I've been obsessing over this for my curls, and it is kind of broken here on the cap, which is a bum dumber. A bum dumber. But yeah, I really like this. I've been using it um, for the days that I want to go curly. It really helps me out. And because I just took a shower and just got out here, my hair is like drying out. So I probably don't have time to curl it for you guys. But like with this, because I like to put it in when it's wet. But oh well. I'll be showing you guys that in probably another video. Just showing you guys like curl care um, or straight hair care, stuff like that. Um, also, you guys haven't been seeing this in the tutorials, but I've actually been loving paint pots. And this is just a paint pot from MAC. This is an old one, Delft. And the reason that I love this is because this color was totally, totally September. It screamed September for me um, all throughout September. And I would actually use it instead of an eyeshadow. And when I was in a rush, I would just slap this on and run. And the reason that you guys didn't see this in tutorials is because I would just slap it on and run. It was for days that I was late or I wasn't doing something. You know, I was on the way of doing something and I didn't have time for a tutorial. Um, but this is like the perfect color for that. So super, super cute. I loved it. Um, and that's what I used as kind of a go-to thing. Um, last but not least, this is a Bath & Body Works Co. By Glow. It's Bigelow, Bigelow, I don't even know how to pronounce it. But it is this Mentha and Willow Bark Bar. And I'll show you guys the close-up. Um, oh, but it smells like mint. It is delicious. I have been using this. This is my second one. And I was going to show you. I thought I had a third and I would just like show you. I'm so sorry. It looks so torn up and beat up. Um, but I got this from Bath & Body Works. And it is delish, and I think it says mentha, like really big on there. But I have been like rubbing this all over my body, and I'll be like, oh, I smell like mint. Um, and it has been delicious. <sighs> so I am obsessed with this. Um, yes, those are my September favorites. I would love to see your guys' September favorites. Oh, I've also been liking longer shirts. That's kind of end of September, early October. So, yeah. So that's what I've been loving. Um, kind of beauty, hair, makeup, all sorts of different things. Tell me what you guys have been loving. I really want to hear whether you posted in a comment or a video response. Let me know. Um, also, I apologize that this video is late. Um, be sure to check for links because they're all going to be there for you, um, floating around, stuff like that, to see other videos. If you guys have a video request, please, please request it down below so that I can do it for you. Um, what else? What else? What else? What else? I will be posting Chicago vlogin and Chicago haulin and stuff like that really soon. It's taking me a really long time to update because I was just filming all like 24 7 while I was there. Um, but there are some great YouTubers. You guys know Josh. So I'm going to link you guys to his page because um, he is super cute. He does acne, which is great. Um, he actually knows a lot about it. Um, so I've actually kind of been sharing ideas with him and all sorts of stuff. And you guys know I'm going dairy-free and all sorts of good stuff. Um, so we'll see how that goes. And I'll have a confession. I slipped up. I was like, oh my god. It wasn't a major slip-up, though. I was eating chocolate at my grandma's. And I think I was like on my sixth one. And then I was like, oh! And I realized, oh my gosh. There might be milk in my chocolate. And I was freaking out. They were like really nice German hazelnut chocolates. I was like, no! And so I started freaking out. And then I put them away. But... I don't know if those had milk in them or if they didn't, so that kind of freaked me out. So I think I'm not going to start over. I'm going to keep going. I'm going to keep on doing this, and totally, if you guys, if I wasn't doing it for you, I totally would have just finished the box. I would have been like, ah, that's dairy. Nah, you know, because I'm not worth, like, working towards something. I kind of explain that in the dairy video, how I don't feel like if I'm doing it for myself, I'm worth it. If I'm doing it for someone else, then I have to do it because I feel obligated to. Um... But that's why I, like, if I just get a product for myself, I'll just get it. But if I get it to actually review it, I have to review it, review it. Because I feel like you guys are relying on me. You guys are counting on me. And I can't let people like that down. So I totally put down the chocolates. I started freaking out. Um, so that was, like, my first dairy slip up. Then I had Indian food. And it wasn't, like, milk. But I'm afraid. I didn't know if they used butter or oil. And after I finished, I was like, oh, my God. Was that butter or oil? So I don't know. So I'm kind of flipping out about that. It's not terrible. I'm going to keep going. Um, 
but I feel kind of bad about that. And I was originally going to do one month of dairy free just to see how it worked. But because I slipped up, I think I'm going to start from that day and then do another month from that day that I slipped up. Just so that I can really give this stuff a really good try so that I can kind of report back to you guys. Did my hair just get like lion's nest crazy? Yeah, it did. I was trying to comb it out and like tame it, but it's not going to be tamed. But yeah, that's my dairy update. So I'm kind of starting from that date and I'm going strong steady forward so I hope you guys um thank you so much for the comments keep commenting um about dairy free tell me what you guys want to see and I will talk to all of you in the next video so end of September happy October and I'll talk to everybody in the next video <sighs> love you guys so much bye